Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and in my last video I very quickly created a portrait of a giant and in this video I told you I was going to go ahead and fix it because I really threw it together fast. I was just putting clay on here and there and just trying to get it to kind of look like a human. <laughs> But I was really doing it mostly because I needed a project to get me away from another project that was just driving me nuts. So I wasn't paying any attention to getting it right. This time I was going to go ahead, look up some instructions on how to sculpt a portrait correctly, and I was going to fix the guy. Turns out I'm not going to do that at all. <laughs> I'm going to do something completely different. But before I do that, I want to tell you about a really exciting workshop that my daughter is putting on. She's an award-winning oil painter. This is one of her paintings. Uh, this is my chicken, by the way. I wanted to show you this painting because of all the color in it. And color is what her workshop is all about. She's calling it Dive Into Color. And it's for people who've been painting for a while, but they want to get more courageous about using color, mixing it, um, using limited palettes and that sort of thing. The workshop is going to be online. It's coming up really soon. And I want to make sure that you go check it out if that's something that interests you at all. You can find all about it at jessierashi.com slash johnny. I'll put a link to it right down below too so you can just go ahead and click on it. And if you happen to talk to her while you're there, be sure and say hi to her for me. Now let's get back to this crazy giant. The This is the book that I was using before. And this time I actually entirely by accident <laughs> pulled this book off my shelf. I didn't realize that I have two books about giants. I have a tendency to find books like in the used bookstore or something and I, I never let go of them. I, I just I just have a big collection of books and I didn't know that I had two of these giants. So I thought I was looking at that one when I pulled it off the bookshelf. And when I was looking through here, because it looked kind of nice, I found another illustration that I just have to try, and I'm going to find them here. Bookmarks would be a good idea, huh? Is that wonderful or what? Now, I know I'm not going to be able to do the horns sticking all that far out because I don't want to mess around with some wire that it had put inside of it. That it they would be too heavy with wet clay and it would just fall down. And I'm just going to play around with it today. But basically... What I intend to do with this guy is just move that clay. <laughs> He's kind of a an overweight guy with a great big nose and a sneer. And I'm just going to move that clay around until he looks, hopefully, like this guy. So let's see if I can do it. <laughs> let's get started.
Okay, I'm really tempted to keep messing with it, but I'm not going to. I quit. <laughs> I'm going to put the wet cloths over him again. I'm going to put a uh, some more plastic over him, and who knows who he's going to be tomorrow. I, I just really having fun with it. If you like this kind of video where I'm doing a sculpture for no reason whatsoever and I have no intention of keeping it or turning it into anything or putting it on a wall or anything else and just playing, um, let me know. And if you're playing along, I want to know that too because I think that'd be really fun. Uh, maybe we could get some kind of a club going where we all get our hands in the clay. <laughs> that'd be fun. Okay, that's enough. Now you go make something and then come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.